Faith is believing what God says in His Word. Introduction Hidden God from before the foundation of the earth was a secret that no one knew until it was due time to reveal it. This book is a panoramic overview of God's progressive revelation to man through His Word, the Bible. It is filled with verses from the King James Bible and pictures to help demonstrate God's dealings with all mankind in the past, present, and future. This book is organized in a simple way to help the reader rightly divide the word of truth, 2 Timothy 2 verse 15. The main division in the Bible is between mystery and prophecy. When studying the Bible, it is important to be both biblical and dispensational, to know not only what God is saying, but to know to whom, when, and in what context he is speaking, for God has given different instructions at different times to different people. God's great wisdom in the long war against Satan is the major theme of this book. His brilliant military strategy was that he kept a secret. God used his son as the strategic weapon by which he won back both heaven and earth from his adversary, Satan. Other themes include Israel, to be a ch knell of blessing to the Gentiles, the distinctive ministry of the Apostle Paul, and the Kingdom of God. The Lord Jesus Christ is the hero of his story as revealed in the Holy Scriptures by his spokesman. He rescued all believers by his loving sacrifice. No other book is as exciting as the Bible. In it, we learn God's plan and purpose, what he has done, is doing, and will do. If we really want to know what is going on, it is more important to consult the Bible than the newspaper. Because there is power in God's Word, many verses from the King James Bible are quoted. This book is a primer to assist the reader in understanding the Bible better as a whole. The goal is for all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth, 1 Timothy 2 verse 4. This book is also designed to be a tool for the members of the body of Christ to share right division with their loved ones to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery. Ephesians 3 verse 9. Are you ready to discover the mystery of God's secret? The revelation of the mystery, which was kept secret since the world began, Romans 16 verse 25. Forward. The words of the Lord are pure words, as silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. 7. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord, thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. Psalm 12 verses 6 to 7, KJV. What advantage then hath the Jew? Or what profit is there of circumcision? 2. Much every way, chiefly, because that unto them were committed the oracles of God. Romans 3 verses 1 to 2, KJV, 7. As he promised God has preserved his word. In English, it is found in the King James Bible as silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times, Psalms 12 verses 6 and 7. The line of Bibles to the perfection of the King James Bible. 1. Tyndall, 1526. 2. Coverdale, 1535. 3. Matthews 1537. 4. The Great Bible 1539. 5. Geneva 1560. 6. Bishops 1568. 7. King James 1611. See why I use the King James Bible in the appendix. I consider myself very blessed to have come to understand the King James Bible rightly divided. This truth is hidden in the modern Bibles. My main interest when reading the Bible has always been what is God saying, or for what saith the Scriptures. We need to know what God's plan is. The Bible. This is the eternal purpose and twofold plan of God revealed in the King James Bible. Since Lucifer's fall, there has been rebellion in both realms of God's kingdom. The Bible reveals God's twofold plan to end the rebellion that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of things in heaven and things in earth, and things under the earth. Phil 2.10 The Big Picture Through Israel the nation God created and will one day redeem he will reclaim the earth. Through the body of Christ the church he is currently creating he will reclaim the heavenly places.
Thus, in the dispensation of the fullness of times he will gather together in one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven and which are on earth. F110 This book is laid out rightly divided into three main sections, past, present, and future. My hope is that people will see the big picture of what God has done, is doing, and will do. He so precisely, wisely, and concisely reveals this in his word, the Bible. In God our head, all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge, Colossians 2 verse 3. By reading and studying his word, we can learn more about Christ. Paul wrote, that I may know him. Philippians 3 verse 10. We can go on a treasure hunt in the Bible to not only know more about our Lord Jesus Christ, but also God's plan and purpose for mankind. Out of the will of God, blind to or not, honest, about the differences in the Bible, Acts 11 verse 19, Romans 15 verse 8, 20, Matthew 15 verse 24, 2 Timothy 1 verse 11, Nation of Israel mixed with the Body of Christ, 1 Cor 1 17 Colossians 1 verse 25, Mixed Doctrine Damned by God, Romans through Philemon equals to the Body of Christ, the remainder of our Bible equals to the Nation of Israel. Israel and Body of Christ, God's two different agencies on two different programs, with two different purposes. I used to be a mixer. Unknowingly, I mixed the things that belonged to the nation of Israel with the things that belonged to the body of Christ. I did not know that Gentiles are saved in a different way today than they were in the past. When we mix law and grace, we end up with false doctrine. That moment. When you realize what you have been taught the Bible says is not what the Bible says. But then I discovered that all the Bible is written for our learning but not all the Bible is written to or about us. I noticed that there was more than one gospel and more than one church in the Bible. I learned that I was not part of spiritual Israel. This was an aha moment. I realized that what I had been taught the Bible said wasn't. What the Bible said. I discovered God had a secret that he had kept hidden in himself that he revealed in due time to the Apostle Paul. God really had two groups of people he was saving. In the past and future, God talks about his prophetic plan for Israel and other kingdom on earth believers who will be part of his kingdom on earth. But in the present God has revealed the mystery that he is calling out a people to inhabit his heavenly kingdom, 2 Timothy 4 verse 18. I have discovered that the Bible must be rightly divided to be understood. I hope this brief overview of the Bible with pictures and verses will help you to come to the same conclusion. I found out that the Bible says different things to different people at different times. The key is that the Bible must be rightly divided. Rightly dividing the truth does not mean to divide truth from error. It means to divide truth from truth. All the Bible is truth, but not all the Bible is our truth. Most of the Bible is to Israel and the kingdom on earth believers, and some of the Bible is to the body of Christ, the heavenly kingdom believers. If you struggle to understand your Bible rightly divide, study to shew thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 KJV Study to shew thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Second Timothy 2 verse 15 We are commanded to study the word of God, so that we may be approved to him, and not be ashamed at the judgment seat of Christ. 1 Corinthians 3 verses 12 to 14 We are to divide truth. All the Bible is truth. No one understands all of the Bible, but as we study, our spiritual understanding widens and deepens. The more we study God's Word, the more we see what we didn't see before. 
We are living in the present, also called, but now. It is important to know where we are. You are here. Past. What God did. Genesis. Through. Mid-Acts. Time past. With the nation of Israel. You are here. Present. What God. What God. Is doing will do. Romans. Through Philemon. Future. But now. With the body of Christ. Hebrews. Through. Revelation. Ages to come. With the nation of Israel. These are the three basic time periods in the KJV Bible, according to our Apostle Paul. The Bible can be pictured in the following ways. Asterisk this page is best viewed on the Kindle by tilting your device to landscape to allow for the greatest width. Past, present, future. Time past, but now ages to come. Prophecy, mystery, prophecy. Earth Kingdom Believers Heaven Kingdom Believers Earth Kingdom Believers Old Covenant, Law, No Covenant, New Covenant, Law. Israel, 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 Body of Christ, Israel, 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 Body of Christ. If we take the parenthesis out of a sentence, what are we still left with? A complete sentence. 13 books following Acts belong to us Gentiles. Grububian M. About 7% of the Bible is to us, while the rest of the Bible is for us. If we remove Paul's letters, Romans to Philemon, from the Bible, we essentially remove the church, the body of Christ, from the Bible. Most of the Bible is written to and about the nation of Israel, not us. Confusion ends when we learn God's plan for heaven and earth. God's plan for heaven and earth, as preserved in the Holy Bible authorized King James Version, Genesis Malachi, Moses, Law, Nation of Israel, Prophecy, 4,000 years OT, Law and Prophecy Israel, the Jews. Historical Transition Period From Law to Grace, From Peter to Paul, From Prophecy to Mystery, Acts, Matthew Romans, Mark, Luke, John. Reading, for Israel, the Jews. Time passed. BOC begins Acts 9, Fall. Paul, Grace. Body of Christ, Mystery. Philemon, building of the church, the body of Christ, through Paul's gospel and through Paul's doctrine. But now, all members of the body of Christ reign with Christ in the heavens. Jesus comes in the clouds to catch away the church, the body of Christ, to heaven and JSC. Rapture End of Paul's Gospel 33. Hebrews Revelation Second Coming of Christ Jesus establishes His Kingdom Readiness slash Tribulation Years Millennium Israel's program Israel reigns with restarts Christ on Earth Ages to Come You can only believe as much as you have understood. Cornelius R. Stam. It shall greatly help you to understand the scriptures that thou mark not only what is spoken or written, but of whom and to whom, with what words, at what time, where, to what intent, with what circumstances, considering what goeth before and what followeth after. Mise Coverdale. Jesus sent Paul. When we read the Bible it is best to take the literal meaning for the most part and to ask, what is written, who is speaking, to whom, when, why, and what is the prevailing circumstance, context, who, when, what, why, how, where. When we read the Bible it is best to take the literal meaning for the most part and to ask, what is written, who is speaking, to whom, when, why, and what is the prevailing circumstance, context, who, when, what, why, how, where. Spiritual growth can only happen after people are saved. 
But the natural man receiveth, not the things of the Spirit of God. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 14 To get the most out of the Bible we must also believe that God has inspired and preserved His Word for us, the Word of God, which effectually worketh also in you that believe. 1 Thessalonians 2 verse 13 After salvation, not rightly dividing, can severely hurt one's spiritual growth. Because with right division we have a clear understanding of how to be saved and what God's purpose and plan is. Our specific instruction, sound doctrine, in this age of God's grace is only found in Paul's epistles, Romans, through Philemon. We need to be stabilized in the truth. As you read this book, you will notice that God has an adversary, Satan, who has tried to destroy his plan. There is a battle going on between God and Satan, but he is a defeated enemy. Christ defeated Satan on the cross. Soon after that God revealed his secret to us through Paul. My desire for you is the same as Paul's that you might be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Colossians 1 verse 9 The most important thing in life The most important thing in life is not fame, fortune, or happiness. No, the most important thing in life is where we spend eternity, and we only have this lifetime to decide where that will be. And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this, the judgment. Hebrews 9 verse 27 We all do wrong things, because we are imperfect. God is holy, and nothing imperfect can stand before Him. We cannot clean ourselves up and be perfect. Many people have the wrong idea that there is something they can or must do to be saved. There is nothing we can do to make ourselves acceptable to God. However, the wrong things we do, sins, are not the thing that is keeping us from being accepted by God today. No, the thing that keeps us from being accepted by God is unbelief. The sins of all people, for all time, have already been paid for by Jesus Christ. When Jesus Christ died on the cross, He bore the sins of all mankind. Jesus Christ shed His blood and died in our place, was buried, and rose to life again three days later. Our sins are paid for, but in order to be forgiven, we have to believe what Jesus Christ did. The perfect Son of God became sin for us, so that we could receive His righteousness. For He hath made Him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in Him. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 21 Unbelief is the only thing that separates us from eternal life with God. But God loves us and wants us to believe, so He gently invites us to put our faith in what Jesus has done. Once we stop trusting in ourselves and place our trust in Jesus, we are sealed by the Holy Spirit as a guarantee that we will spend eternity with God. In whom ye also trusted, after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that ye believed, ye were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise, which is the earnest, down payment, of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession, the believer at the rapture, unto the praise of his glory. Ephesians 1 verses 13 and 14 We need to put our trust in who Christ is and what he has done for us. All the children of Adam are helpless. We inherited Adam's spiritual deadness. By one man, Adam, sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned, Romans 5 verse 12. We cannot save ourselves. We are spiritually dead. But once we believe, we instantly become spiritually alive to God by His power. And you hath He quickened, made alive, who were dead in trespasses and sins. Ephesians 2 verse 1 When we believe, we are taken out of Adam and placed into Jesus Christ. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 22 We cannot see or feel this happening, we must take it by faith in what God says in His Word. We must trust in what Jesus did and His merit, not in ourselves. From the moment we believe we are complete in Him, Colossians 2 verse 10, spiritually we are translated out of Adam and into His dear Son, Jesus who hath delivered us from the power of darkness, and hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear Son. Colossians 1 verse 13 We are not accepted by God in ourselves, 
but we are accepted by the Father in his beloved Son, to the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he hath made us accepted in the beloved. Ephesians 1 verse 6, Christ paid for us with his blood, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace. Ephesians 1 verse 7, We are baptized, identified, into Christ. For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. Galatians 3 verse 27, Now when God sees us, he sees Jesus. God loves his Son more than anything, and we are in him. There is no safer place to be. God is one in three persons, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost, Spirit. It was the second person of the Godhead who took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men, Philippians 2 verse 7. To be saved we need to believe the gospel, good news, of our salvation, how that, by crucifixion, Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures, 1 Corinthians 15 verses 3 and 4. Once we believe this gospel our sins are judged at the cross, and we will not be judged by them again. Thank you, Lord. If we are in Christ, we are judged by his works. If we are in Adam, we are judged by our own works. Our problem was that we inherited Adam's sinfulness and also commit our own sins, but by faith in Christ, we are justified freely. Being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Romans 3 verse 24, Jesus obeyed. For as by one man's disobedience many were made sinners, so by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous. Romans 5 verse 19. Jesus died in our place. He took the payment we deserved. His blood paid for our sins. We received the gift of eternal life. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans 6 verse 23. When we trust in what Jesus Christ has done for us, a transaction occurs, our sins are placed on Jesus Christ, and we receive his righteousness. Please, put your trust in Jesus now, for we do not know what tomorrow may bring. God made him to be sin for us, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 21. He took my sin, sumber humus, sin, righteousness of God, I received, his righteousness. God's secret. A primer with pictures for how to rightly divide the word of truth. Copyright 2017 by Marianne Manley. Pictures used by permission or public domain. The picture Simeon's moment in the future section is painted by my favorite artist, Ron DeCiani. This book is in no way endorsed or sponsored by CreateSpace, Amazon, or their affiliates. Permission is granted to use any and all contents of this book. All scripture references are taken from the King James Bible. Please note that the KJB does not capitalize the pronoun names for God. Furthermore, the KJB does not use quotation marks, but begins a quote with a capital letter. A note to the reader. This book is designed to be read from beginning to end. Please do not be discouraged if you do not understand everything right away. Get the overview of the Bible first, then later you can go back to the unclear part to understand it better. I pray that everything will become clear to you as you read on. Special Kindle Instruction Remember that the Kindle Fire can read the book aloud to you. Earbuds, earphones, or a speaker can be plugged into the Kindle. The pictures can be enlarged with a reverse pinch. God's Secret A Primer with Pictures for How to Rightly Divide the Word of Truth by Marianne Manley Acknowledgements I am grateful for the support of my dear husband Chuck, who loves me unconditionally, and my children while writing this book. Eric Newman helped me with the front and back cover of the book. I would like to thank some of the many grace pastors and teachers who have helped me understand God's Word. 
In particular, Les Feldick, Richard Jordan, Tom Brusha, Rick Jordan, Eric Newman, Henry Menezes, Nathan Cody, David Reed, Brian Ross, David Osteen, Paul Lucas, Ted Fellows, Death Stridum, Paul McGregor, and others. I also want to thank Maureen Parker for proofreading this book and her help in editing. I would like to thank Tiffany Hansen for her help with the format and putting the book up on kdp.com. I would also like to thank David Jolly, Leanne Miko, and others who want to remain unmentioned for the use of their wonderful pictures and memes. To God be the glory. This book was made possible because of God's Word, excellent Bible teachers, and the help of the Holy Spirit, that, according as it is written, he that glorieth, let him glory in the Lord. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 31 The King James Bible is our final authority in all matters of faith and practice. Before God made the heaven and the earth, he had a secret. This secret was a mystery, hidden God, Ephesians 3 verse 9, kept secret since before the foundation of the world, Ephesians 1 verse 4. Mankind is not very good at keeping secrets, but God is. The secret things belong unto the Lord our God, Deuteronomy 29 verse 29.